Hello everyone. Today I am going to show you how to build a chatbot that will answer your queries from some document, a PDF document in particular. If you are wondering that why you need such such a service or an application. Well, in my previous videos, I have shown you how to build a chatbot with the LLMs and it was capable to answer most of your questions. But a limitation of all these LLMs is that they are trained and they are and they are trained with the data at particular point of time. So like ChatGPT 3.5 is trained with data till 2022 January and anything that has happened after that it is not aware of. So over here you can see that I, I am trying to ask the question what is a snowflake container service. This service was introduced after January of 2022 from Snowflake. So naturally ChatGPT is unaware of. So let me show you the reply from ChatGPT. So when I asked ChatGPT 3.5 that what is Snowflake container service, it was unable to give me a proper answer. So this is when we need to provide some document which is available in the, on the internet, we can provide it and kind of train the or you know make the LLMs utilize the document and uh, and respond to us. So in other there can be other use cases also for this like you want to you know uh, you want res uh, replies from your policy document or things like that there are so many large documents or legal documents you want to ask questions and get a response so you can feed in the uh, pdf versions of those documents to chat gpt and get a response which can be very convenient do you find that interesting so let's get in into it before we go into the detail if you like the content like the video and subscribe to my channel so to start we have to find understand the architecture so in this case it is called a rag architecture which is retrieval augmented generation so we have some pdf document which will be broken down into data chunks and stored in some vector database this vector database data will be provided to the llm as a context to uh, so when the so when the user asks a question to the llm this context will be referred and a response will be generated and the response will again be stored as a chat history so the next query when comes in from the user it will be the context from the pdf document as well as the chat history which the llm will refer and respond to the user query now let's get into the coding so in my previous videos i have shown you the structure is more or less the same so we have few libraries over here that you need to import and not all of them are being utilized in the code uh, most important them i will try to walk you through and uh, so the first let me start with the streamlit application or the code for the streamlit uh, front end that we have so as usual it is uh, the chat chat library that is being utilized over here and i am just making one call that is st session state ask chat ask pdf so this ask pdf is nothing but um, a, a function within my main embedding uh, script so within my main embedding i have a function chat gen and within i i have a class chat, chat gen and which i am initializing over here and then i am making a call to the ask pdf function with the prompt and this prompt is nothing but whatever the user is asking so over here one thing we have to keep in mind that uh, generally if we use this initial um, these chat window then when we are asking a new question it tends to reinitialize 
but if we want to hold on the session we need to initialize the uh, i mean the object of the class only once so to prevent it from reinitializing every time we have to use the cache resource which actually prevents it from happening of reinitialization so just check out the uh, cache resource um, capability of streamlit and this is very helpful so coming to main embedding we have the if, if aiss as the vector database you can you, you can use many other databases uh, that are available like pinecone or chroma db etc now coming back i have make use of open ai this time and not any open llms why because so far whatever i have seen is all the llms open llms when we i was trying it on my local system the performance and the response both were severely horrible and uh, i mean most of the time i am not getting any response and even if i am getting the response structure and the response even is not up to the mark so this time till here i had to do it with open ai so first thing is we have to have a chat history as i was saying which we will be populating with the question and response from the llm then uh, the first thing that we are doing is preparing the document so basically as i showed you the in the architecture um we have to load the using the py pdf loader library we have to load the pdf document and then split it so that is another library which is character text splitter which in which i am saying that chunk size is 1000 so 1000 characters will be uh, you know the document will be broken down into 1000 characters of chunk and there will be a overlap of 30 you can play around with these numbers and see the response uh, differing a bit so whatever is convenient you can do a trial and finalize and optimize the numbers for yourself so after that we use the hugging face embeddings this is an again open source free available freely available embedding model so we use this model to create the embeddings so uh, to store the data into the vector database we need to create embeddings so now with these embeddings we are storing the data into fiiss which is a vector database and this is again open source so after that we are um, making uh, storing the content in a local a local drive and after that whenever this is called we are actually passing on the persisted vector store the response from i mean extraction from these vector stores are passed on to the called function i mean calling function next is the llm so over here i am making use of azure chat open ai with a um, max token 4000 temperature 0 but over here again a very important thing is the prompt so system instruction i have given that ai assistant you must answer the query from the user um from a retrieved content if no relevant information is available answer the question by using your knowledge about the topic then i am giving a template where i am saying the combine the chat history and follow up question into a standalone question answer from the context so this context will basically be the retrieved uh, content from the vector store follow up questions and this is the question from the user after that it is the conversation retrieval chain that i am using from lang chain with which we um, will get the llm's response so we are passing the llm we are passing the retriever we are passing the document name over here so this is the snowflake container pdf document that i have extracted from an html uh, from a html um url so this i am feeding in so that and now i can ask question about snowflake container container and get the response 
and uh, then I am passing the prompt that I have set over here chain type is always tough and now the ask PDF the method that I am calling from my um, streamlit um, streamlit script right so result uh, is I am just self since this is the class you see chat chain is the class so I have all these defined within self so I am making it as self dot load model which is basically load model which is internally then calling our uh, over here load doc so the document is loaded and then we are asking it and then we are passing the query and the chat history so self dot chat history basically is as we have initialized over here this is being utilized so that whenever there after that just after this line we are actually appending our answer and the question query uh, answer is the response from the model so we are storing it appending it into our chat history so now the model will utilize the chat history the context retrieved uh, to answer the question so thereafter it returns the answer and we are getting it in our streamlit output so going back to our streamlit application if I continue with this chat and ask it like when was this introduced so you can see from the document it finds out that it was introduced in the snowflake summit in 2023 which was around 20 uh, december time so that is why snow um, chat gpt was unable to answer question related to it but uh, the interesting thing over here uh, that i told you that uh, the prompt is very important over here because right now if i ask it who is charlie chaplin So sometime it does falter but uh, it is able to you know still go and find out from its own knowledge if it is not able to find out you know the response from the PDF document provided it still goes out and try to find out the answer otherwise and provide you the answer. So this is a more like a conversation but if if you wish that always the bot will respond only from the pdf and not nothing outside in that case you can play around with the um, prompt in the code and you can say that do not respond anything beyond the content of the retrieved document so in that case it will just say that i am um, sorry it is not provided in the content so that is a very interesting uh, use case and uh, this is how we can use or upload our pdf documents and ask our questions make it more convenient instead of going through the whole doc whole pdf documents manually we can make it interesting in a conversation way that's it for today if you like the video subscribe to the channel and like the video thank you